My wonderful grandfather died of cancer last week. It's been a difficult time for a loved one to pass away. I can't go back to Britain. My grandfather was religious, went to church every week, but because of the virus, church isn't open, and so he can connect with that community in his dying weeks. It's been difficult for my family to be with my grandmother, again, for risk of spreading the virus, and the funeral, only 12 people are allowed to attend. Unfortunately, we are talking about death more at the moment in our society, and if you've had a loved one pass away, I imagine you've experienced some of these similar difficulties. I'm actually in China at the moment in the Wudang Mountains, and the philosophy and religion of the Wudang Mountains is Taoism, or Taoism, often associated with the yin-yang. The Taoists have a different view of death and life after death than atheism or Christianity. So in this video I'd like to share some thoughts from Taoism and from some fellow human beings on what is death and what has happened to my grandfather. You know, for every one of the human beings, uh, the death of the beloved would be something like heartbroken, something they don't wish to happen. Now we're talking from the perspective, a Taoist perspective. I would say your grandpa, you know, he has not died. He has not died. You see, our human being, we actually, just we say, we come from nature, we go back to, to the nature. We come from the qi, we are back to the qi. So qi, it's unlike the phys physicality, like uh, something like matter, in form of a chair. A chair can be eventually, you know, it will become old, become shabby, become collapsed. A stone, no matter how solid it is, eventually it will become like, uh, you know, become soft, become earth. A tree, anyway, there is a day, a tree might be die, then be disappear. A human body, the same. However, qi, universal qi, that's invisible, that's energy, it's always in the inner world. Like a qi, he still exists. So when a grandpa die, that's, that's, I should say, he's not so weak as he disappeared. We should say, he's so powerful that now he becomes Qi. When he passed away, we cannot get back, you know, for his physical body come back. But as we are the Taoist practitioners, we say, Dao Tong Tian Di, De Guan Gu Jin, Dao, we are all one, like a representative, one part of the Dao. So it is with your with you and so it is with your grand, grandpa. When he died, when he passed away, now he exists in form of a qi, like another name of Tao. Actually, he is even nearer to you. He is even nearer to you. I really like that image that I don't, I don't think Masuku said it now, but earlier when we talked about it, of uh, your grandpa's spirit riding a giant white crane, was it? Crane bird uh, into the clouds. Uh, I mean, what's not to love about that image? Best thing we can do, and I completely agree with Masuku, is, is practice the Qigong, keep the energy passionate and alive. And that energy is your grandpa is my late father and, and my grandparents and everyone who has died. It's all one and it breathes through us and, and, and we are it. So remember them as they were and re be who you are. Celebrate the chi and yeah, you know, then you're really in touch with life. The day that my granddad died, I spent a night out looking at the stars and the moon and I did feel him. It's interesting, Master Goose said that his chi is dispersed and maybe he's actually closer to me. I do think there's something more to us than just our physical bodies. There does seem to be something that powers us. 
We live in a planet full of wonderful plants and animals. And you and I, we have our own consciousnesses. There has never been a person just like you. You have a creative, unique energy about you. Now, what is this thing that powers us beyond just being a mechanical, biological machine? I don't know. Maybe let's call it the spirit. And so what happens to the spirit after we die? Well, in physics, there's the idea of conservation of energy. You can't destroy energy, only transform it. So that would suggest that the spirit, the energy that powers us, transforms. I think it's unlikely that George will fly off to a cloud and then look down forevermore in heaven. I think without the physical body, it's quite hard to keep the spirit together. I think maybe it's more likely that the intelligence that powers me just disperses into the world. If that's true, then my granddad may be in the trees and the plants, and maybe he was on a cloud, part of him, on that night that I was looking up. I find this idea comforting that we come from everything and we have this lifetime and then we go back to everything. There's the cliche of we're all one, but that actually makes a lot of sense to me. So if you've lost anyone recently, I'm sending my condolences and a hug. And maybe consider spending a night out looking at the stars and the moon and feeling that person. And Grandad, thank you for everything. I love you so much and I feel you.